Hi, second day of our Take 5 for this week. And you remember yesterday we were talking about the passage uh, where uh, Mary is told that she's going to be having a baby and that she showed real faith and said, whatever the Lord says, may that be fulfilled in me. That's, that's an incredible thing for a, a teenage girl to have said. So she showed real trust and faith. And we said before that um, uh, Zechariah and uh, Elizabeth had not shown the same faith. But, and here's the but, and I like this but. In this passage, very short passage today, only from 39 to 45 of uh, chapter 1, um, Mary gets ready. She goes to see her cousin, Elizabeth, and before she even gets there, now remember at this point, Elizabeth has been pregnant for six months, okay? So she's well ahead of, um, uh, of uh, Mary, who has only just uh, become pregnant. And she goes to see her, and the greeting is amazing. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby moved, it says leapt in her womb. It was like she got a response between the baby that she was carrying, John, and the baby that Mary was carrying. Jesus and she makes a declaration now because she said to uh, Mary um, blessed are you among women there's a sign of real faith here now and blessed is the child you will bear she already knows this is a unique situation and that the baby being born is Jesus, who is um, her Lord. She says, why has the mother um, of my Lord um, come to me? Yeah, blessed is the child you will bear. I am so favored. I am so blessed that the mother of my Lord should come to me. So she's showing now, <coughs> real faith she doesn't doubt anymore she knows that she is going to have a baby even though she's an old lady yeah and she knows that the baby that mary is having <coughs> is going to be um the the one that uh, uh the the children of israel have all been waiting for okay and she actually describes it she said as soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears the baby in my womb leapt for joy um, and then she describes her own feeling here because she says this, blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. This actually could apply to both Elizabeth and to Mary, couldn't it? But blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will do what he has promised and there is the challenge for us friends when God promises things and in his word it is absolutely full of promises do we take those promises seriously do we treat those promises as being you know from 2000 or more years ago but not really relevant to our life today or do we take God's word, take the promises that he has given us? And there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of promises. When he says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you or let you down. He's making promises. When he says, I will be with you always, even unto the end of time. He is giving us a promise. So over this Christmas, I just want to challenge you. Look in God's word and find some of the promises that he has made. And then challenge yourself. Do you really believe those promises will be fulfilled by God? I do. I believe those words are his words. 
and we can stand on those words and trust them because they are from our faithful God. See you tomorrow.